cry, Hammer! Hammer! And let's slip the dogs of war. A brutal fight is brewing on social media and in corporate boardrooms over the New York Public Theater's latest revival of William Shakespeare's play, Julius Caesar. Public theater staged this assassinations and all, and you can see lead actor Greg Henry being stabbed in this video provided by Inside Edition. Now, why is this classic tragedy, which features as its centerpiece a depiction of Caesar being stabbed to death by the entire Roman Senate, so controversial? Uh, maybe it has to do with casting a not at all veiled lookalike of President Donald Trump in the center, titular role, assassination and all. Uh, it's been in preview since late May and is due to open Monday as part of Shakespeare in the Park in Central Park and run through June 18th. Uh, the backlash has included a tweet by the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., questioning the theater's funding and a headline in Breitbart that says Trump stabbed uh, in play. And uh, it, on Sunday, Bank of America and Delta Airlines pulled their sponsorship from the New York Public Theater. Now, in 2012, the Baruch Performing Arts Center staged a version of Julius Caesar, which featured a Barack Obama lookalike in the center role. We're gonna talk to someone who knows a lot about killing it on stage in New York City, Saturday Night Live alum, and not candidate for governor, I'm disappointed, Joe Piscopo. So Joe, what do you think? Do you does that, uh, does that put it in context that they had Obama four years ago and now Trump, or no? Do you think this is just a long line of Trump haters? They gotta get past it. You have to respect the office of the presidency. I'm looking, I come from the comedy clubs back in the, in the day, you know? And we didn't really censor anything. But when it comes to respecting the president of the United States, is it a time we started doing that just a little bit, man? When you put these things out there, you can think, look, we all take it as a grain of salt, but there's people out there with screws loose in their head who might that take the wrong way. When I was on Saturday Night Live, I did a sketch. I was a lifelong Democrat, and I took a, a shot at President Ronald Reagan in a video form. I was proud of that piece. Democrat going against Ronald Reagan. Here it is. I hand it off to my producer, comes to the edit bay, watches this three-minute piece that I was so proud of, said, that's not making it to the air. It's an assault on the office of the president. This is a long play of, in which Brutus and Mark Anthony are the bad guys. Caesar's the hero, and his stabbing is treated as a tragedy because taking uh, political violence to an extreme, even against a tyrant, destroyed the Roman Republic. That's the entire point of the play, is to respect the office and the institutions that we have. Maybe hey, Joe, you should go see Joe, it, Joe. to that point, though, I mean, he's not wearing a toga. He's wearing a suit and tie, and he's got the hair. Let me ask you, it, do you think, like, this? the whole wit has gone out of comedy? I mean, it's all about this not graphic, let's show the bloody head, let's stab the, the likeness of the president. It's not clever. It's not clever. It's boring. It is. You could go too far, and this is going to... If you're on a stage on a comedy club, you know, all too well, listen, and you're, the words are coming out, and you're George Carlin, you're Richard Pryor, you're Eddie Murphy, that, that's like, it's okay. It's part of the, a, a show. It's part of a, a bit that you're doing. The second you enact it, and then you start talking about the assassination of a president, then you got a problem with me. Joe Piscopo, everybody. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Joe. That was great. Thanks.